Hey guys, Mr. Fox here. We're going to take a look at the current limit throttling that some folks with the 6700K have been complaining about. You know, the 6700K is a great CPU. The Skylake in general is very much uh, a consumer-centric product focused on low power usage. Even if you look at their selection of CPUs, uh, there's hardly anything except the 6700K for enthusiasts mostly Apple and that type of thing so we've got some great benchmarks from the 6700k in the Sky X9 some, some crazy uh, benchmarks very powerful quad core but um, some of you have noticed that there's a power uh, current limit throttling showing you next to you uh, Uncle Webb the author of throttle stop has told us that that information is not accurate but what we can see is there's a pretty erratic behavior in the CPU whenever it's under load with graphics card. I can't prove it but I think what's happening is that there's some type of power balancing feature that's incorporated in the Skylake especially for these pathetic turd books that they're producing with Skylake CPUs and tablets and MacBooks and things that are not designed for enthusiasts and that don't really have the capacity. So we're going to run a, a 3D Mark 11 test with the test one the physics test and combined test and have a look at the way the behavior changes whenever the demand of the computer changes test one um, two three and four you can run on 3d mark 11 at a very low clock speed on the cpu just like 2.8 to 3 gigahertz and it doesn't affect your score of course the physics test and the combined test um, they rely on having a powerful CPU and if you don't your overall score is going to really suck so um, we're going to watch as we run these three tests only and as we'll see in test one um, the CPU is going to do what appears to be throttling we're going to run it in the window and the little bar meter at the bottom in XTU is going to show going up nearly a hundred percent core uh, limit throttling but as we run the other tests, um, it's not going to show much evidence of throttling, none at all in the physics test. Uh, so we'll watch this meter down here. I'm going to run it in a window, and we can watch what that does. It's going to turn yellow and go way up on test one. Physics test, it's not going to throttle at all. And then the combined test at the end where it needs both CPU and GPU power, it's going to throttle a little bit not nearly as much so as I said I, th I think this is a feature that Intel wanted us to have I don't like the way it looks uh, I like the way Skylake runs but it looks really sucky to see that so let's watch what happens The CPU is set to run at 4.7 gigahertz for these tests and as it starts out that's what it's running. You get a little ways into the test and there goes the meter it's up already over 70 percent current limit throttling but the crazy thing is it's really no, it's not affecting the performance of test one. We get the same score in test one regardless of what um, core clock speed we have on the CPU so it's like it's like Skylake can sense how much it needs and is adjusting it accordingly without hurting performance again I don't like that I don't like the way it looks I don't like the way it feels but it doesn't really seem to hurt performance so in the physics test that's uh, the process of loading and we'll see that it does not have any current limit throttling at all. It runs a solid 4.7 gigahertz on all cores all the way through. It doesn't miss a beat. Combined test always takes a little while to load. Here we go. 
So as we'll see here with the combined test, there's some current limit throttling, but minimal compared to test one. I believe the reason, can't prove it, but I believe the reason is the combined test requires more CPU power than test one does. So some kind of logic built into Skylake is letting it have the power it needs to get the job done. Now, I'd a whole lot rather have it just run balls to the wall wide open all the time. That's my idea of enthusiast, but look we've got a great physics score and a great combined score. Our frame rate on the graphics tests are what they should be. So it does not appear to be hurting performance. So, I'm going to talk with Prima. Um, about the BIOS mod for the Sky X9 and see if there's any way that we can uh, use his hex editing skills to kill whatever logic is behind that because I don't like it but if we set that down to 3.2 gigahertz on the core which I don't think throttle stops gonna let us do it when we go down to 4 gigahertz anyway we could run that same test and the, the graphics test would be exactly the same. You know, that's, that's an old trick that I learned from our friend John K. Triple S on Notebook Review Forum that 3D Mark 11 when we were running the Alienwares, the M18 XR1 and R2, and benching the crap out of those, we discovered we could use throttle stop to clock back the CPU and test one through four and not lose anything on the score because as long as it was like 2.8, 2.9, 3 gigahertz, uh, you wouldn't exhaust the limits of the AC adapter. It's, it would stay running and you could use throttle stop profiles and flip it over to 4.5, 4.7, 4.8, whatever gigahertz for the uh, physics test and the combined test and your score was, was great. So he received basically the same performance with the CPU clock back. Skylake is throttling it the same. Uh, and I have everything maxed out on the power limits. I've got the unlocked BIOS from Prima on this Sky X9 and there is not a uh, not an impediment as far as having that adequate power have the voltage fine-tuned to where it doesn't throttle under CPU loads. so there we have it uh, basically the same result I think it's off by one frame per second so well within the margin of error um, our max temp here was low I think we had about 75 degrees dead on the uh, CPU GPU uh, thermals were nice too so I'm just running the Sky X9 on air, just nothing but the fans cooling it. 4.7 gigahertz is pretty amazing. That uh, CPU DLED did a nice job with the liquid ultra thermal paste. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this was enlightening. And uh, until we get anything definitive on it, uh, don't burn any calories worrying about the current limit throttling problem. You guys have a good. Good day and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Take care.